and winning Forex strategy. Welcome once again. My name is Stephen Primo. I am the president and founder of Specialist Trading, and we are your premier online source for education in trading virtually all the markets. What we really do is we teach traders how to trade. So many traders, especially Forex traders, lose in the markets. It's been estimated upwards of 80% of all traders ultimately lose. And when I say lose, I don't mean you go into a small slump or sell-off. Uh, it really means that you lose virtually everything that you've uh, saved for trading. And I believe so many Forex traders do that because you're for lack of a better uh, phrase, you're giving your power away. You're relying on too many outside sources to tell you what to do, either some signal service or some program or some system that is generating buy and sell signals. And so what we do is we provide all of our members and all of our students with the same type of information to provide you with signals and with strategies, but we want you to empower yourself so that you can ultimately just rely on your own trading decisions. See, when I first started trading out, I had a difficult time too. And my mentors taught me to rely on my own knowledge and everything that they taught me. And that's what ultimately got me on the road to consistency. And so that's what we do at Specialist Trading. I've been trading for 37 years, virtually all the markets. And I teach all of my students and my members all the things that I've accumulated in that time frame, so that you can hopefully get on that road to consistency and take your trading to the next level. Now, before we begin, I have a great presentation for you today where I'm giving you three great key elements to trading. You can apply these to any strategy or build a strategy off this, but I ask that you please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to show you a lot of performance results with these three key elements, but please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future, so please take a moment to view our disclaimer. And as you are doing that, I also would like to uh, mention that we have more information for you about myself and about specialist trading at the uh, small microsite that Epic Street has kindly put together for us. You see, there is the full uh, link here in uh, sort of a blue, but we've shortened it for you. So if you want to copy and paste this onto your browser, this is where you would go to get any more information about myself and specialist trading and all the current strategies we have that have some really nice discounts as well. Uh, available that FX Street has put together for us. And then lastly, I want to uh, show you this picture here. This is where you would go once you go to that uh, microsite. You see the course descriptions. We have different discounts and different offers for all of our attendees, as well as more information about myself. And then I want to invite each and every one of you to follow us on Twitter. We post a lot of great free information so that you can uh, you know, once again, learn more about us. We tell you current signals we're in. In fact, uh, all of our members last night were uh, uh, made privy to uh, signals that were generated on our strategies to go along the Swiss franc and to go along the dollar yen. So if you're following us on Twitter, you would have seen that we had uh, told all of the people that we were currently along those particular uh, currency pairs, and our, our uh, members continue to be in those uh, signals, and actually uh, one of those signals was generated by what I'm going to be sharing with you today. So a lot of great free information. Follow us on Twitter. That's our handle there, at S-P-C-L-F-T-T-R-A-D-G. Okay, now I, I, I think you remember, and I've said this many times, when I first started trading on the floor some 30 years ago, I had a very difficult time. So if you're struggling with your trading, it's a very difficult for you to advance, to get any type of uh, forward movement motion going in your, in your uh, profits and losses. I really uh, know exactly what you're going through. I went through the exact same thing. In fact, I went through a whole entire year of not being able to make any money while I was on the floor of the stock exchange. So this was very discouraging for me. I didn't know if I was going to be trading much longer. It wasn't until a few of my mentors actually got together with me and said, Steve, the reason why you're losing is because you're relying on too many outside sources to tell you what to do. In other words, even though this was 30 years ago, we didn't have the internet, we didn't have a lot of trading rooms and chat rooms, I was relying on things that were just about the same. I was uh, subscribing to every newsletter you could think of, which was similar to a, a trading room or a chat room. I was watching each and every news event that would come out, if it was either earnings or it was jobless claims or something going on in some other country. I couldn't make a decision until that told me what to do. And I was following far too many indicators. So I was overcomplicating my trading as much as possible. And consequently, I didn't have anything to 
been taught that conventional wisdom tells you that will make you successful, anything from trading plants to Fibonacci to support and resistance. I was applying all these things, and I couldn't make any money. I didn't understand why this wasn't happening. Ultimately, my mentors taught me that you have to simplify your trading. It's the easiest thing in the world for anyone to overcomplicate their trading. It doesn't take a genius to do that, but it's the most difficult thing in the world for someone to simplify their trading. So they said, once you start simplifying it, you start getting on that road to consistency. So this is what I did. I started stripping away all those things I had been taught that were going to work for me. Indicators, support and resistance, news, trading rooms, chat rooms. I let go of all those things. And ultimately, I started to become uh, successful by being consistent. So this is what I teach all of my students and, and members. To simplify your trading, I share with you all the things that have worked for me, all the things that are simple and really easy to follow. It doesn't matter whether you've been trading for 30 years or 30 minutes. Everyone gets the same rule. And I'm going to share with you three of those rules to one of our most consistent strategies today. So my goal is not to trade for you. Once again, I don't want to tell you what to do. My goal is to teach you how to trade on your own with the specialist edge. It's the same edge that turned my trading around. Hopefully my education can help turn your trading around. All right, here's what you're going to learn today. I'm going to share with you these three key elements First key element is how to trade in sync with the market. It's very simple, but extremely powerful. The second key element is a price bar pattern that you should look for in every signal, regardless if it's a buy signal or a sell signal, regardless if you're trading weekly charts or you're trading five minute charts. It doesn't matter. And then lastly, the third key is an entry technique. This is how to fine tune your uh, entries and hopefully get you uh, in a trade that has more chance for success. And as I said, these are three very important key elements, and I'm not just giving you things away that, that we don't use ourselves, because they actually make up the components of one of our most consistent strategies, and that's strategy number four. So these are actually three of the five rules to one of our best strategies for trading. I'm going to show you some signals that were generated just recently using strategy number four. All right, so let's first talk about buy. Let's say we want to be a buyer. Oh, one thing I also want to mention, too, I know a lot of people like to take questions while the presentation is, is in play, so uh, I know a lot of people and a lot of educators like to do that, but I'm a little bit different. If you don't mind, I, I, I would like to take uh, questions at the very end. So if you have any questions, kindly wait till the very end. This won't be a real long presentation, maybe about 25 minutes at most. So once we're concluded, I'll be free to answer any question you have. But if you have a question, many times it's answered in a slide or two later on. So just kind of wait to write it down and try to remember it. And I promise I'll get to your questions at the very end. All right, so let's say we're a buyer. What should we be looking for? What are these three key elements that we want to see if we're looking to go long? Well, the first key element, extremely powerful, is key number one, which is you must trade in sync with the trend. I know you've all heard this before. I know this is probably something you've done in my webinar in the past. You've seen me talk about this. But this is so powerful. And I know everyone says, well, Steve, I, I try to trade in sync with the trend, and it doesn't work, or I miss a lot of trades. And, and the problem is, is, is because every educator, every teacher has a different idea of what the trend should be. Now, some people look at a higher time frame to confirm the lower time frame. Other people look at support and resistance. Other people look at uh, trend indicators. Okay, that's why I think most people are losing and out of sync with the trend because it's too complicated. Once again, I know this firsthand because this is the way I need to trade. Let's show you how you can really simply get in sync with the trend. All right, let's look at this generic chart here. And if someone just looking at this, they say, well, see, there's no trend because we're basically just going lower, then we go back up, and then we go lower again. So we're in a range. So what I've been taught in all the books and all the webinars I've read, you should stay away from these markets because you're in a range, and range is where you usually get whips on. Well, that's not true if you're a member of specialist trading because the way we find out what the trend is is we add the 50 periods of the moving average. And then we ask ourselves, where is price in relation to the 50 period moving average? Obviously, price is above. So if price is above, what this says is the overall trend is up. Excuse me, I kind of jumped the gun there. So the overall trend is up. So this means that we're only looking for buy signals. If price is above the 50 period, we'll only look for buy setups. It's that simple, okay? This does not mean that we're going to buy the market. It just means that, okay, from now on, we're not even going to consider shorting. I don't care what someone in a chat room or a trade room tells you. 
or someone says some indicator we're overbought, we don't care. If price is above the 50, we only look for buy setup, regardless of what strategy you trip. Okay? It's that simple. I always say this in my presentations. If there were one tool I could use, in other words, for the rest of my trading, if I could never use anything except one, it would be this. This one tool, the 50-period simple moving average, has saved me and generated me so much consistency and success in the markets over my 30 years of trading. And it doesn't matter if this were a five-minute chart, if it were a four-hour chart, or if it's a weekly chart. You should always have a 50-period moving average plotted on your chart, okay? So that's key number one. Now we go to key number two. Key number two states, look for a bar that closes in the top 25% of its range. Now, when we say range, we're not talking about open and close. I know a lot of you like to trade candlesticks, and you think that the range is from where it opened to where it closed. No, when we say range, we're talking about the high of the day and the low of the day. You could say, well, you mean the candles are wicks, whatever you want to call it. Whatever the high of the bar is and the low of the bar is, that's what we mean by range, okay? That's what traders call a range. The range is never from open to close. A range is from the top to the bottom. And what we want to do is just divide that by four. So the top 25% would be the top quarter of that bar. So if we look at that same generic chart again, we want to find these bars that close in the top quarter of their range. And those are these three right here, okay? It's that simple. You see, the other bars did not close in the top range. Remember, when we say range, it's the top of the bar to the bottom of the bar. It has nothing to do with the open or close. This is never considered the range. That's only considered the open and close range. But the overall range is always the top of the bar and the bottom of the bar. Therefore, it does not matter if you're looking at candlesticks. It doesn't matter if you're looking at just high-low bars, range bars. It doesn't matter. The range is always the top of the bar and the low of the bar, extreme high and extreme low, okay? Now, people will say, well, what? why are we caring about the top of 25% of the range? Because when you find bars like this, the bars are giving you a great clue as to which direction they want to most likely continue. And I'll show you that with key number three. All right, so now we look at key number three, and this is our fine-tuning of an entry technique. So it states to enter only upon confirmation of the trend. So what does this mean? Because we already thought we, we found the trend with the 50 periods of moving average. Well, what this means is, you may want to write this down, this is our confirmation method. And in this particular scenario, we're going to buy on the next bar only if price trades one to five pips above the bar that closed in the top quarter of its range. Okay, so those bars that we had marked in green, we have to trade one to five pips above them in order to buy. We're not going to just simply buy because we're above the 50 period and because we closed in the top 25%. We have to trade above these bars in order to go in and jump in the trade. This is our confirmation that we're most likely going higher. So as you see in this first example here, we would buy if we traded here on the next bar. But look what happened in the next bar. The next bar opened lower and then went lower for the next two days. So this is how this technique kept us out of buying too early. So we didn't do anything. So you see, had you simply purchased at the market or on the close the way some traders say to trade, well, you would have had two days of downside momentum. And most likely you would have scared yourself and said, you know what, I'm out, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm exiting. I, I don't want to take a larger loss. So we don't want to get involved in these trades. We only want to have confirmation that we're going higher. So we didn't do anything right here. How about this one? Well, we want to buy if we trade above on the next bar, and we did. Remember, we don't need to close one to five pips above. We only need to trade there in per bar. It does not matter where we close. It only matters that we trade it up there, and that's our entry to go long. So we buy, okay? And then look what happens. We enter at this point, and there's a follow-through. Now, this could be a five-minute chart where you only maybe made five or ten pips. It could be a monthly chart where you maybe made uh, two or three hundred pips. It does not matter. But usually, when you have this follow-through, you'll have continuation for the next three to five bars. Now, we have one other example right here, and you see now that we want to buy on the next bar only if we trade up here where this dashed green line is. So we trade, and you see we traded. We entered there. Remember, people will say, well, Steve, I thought we had to close above there. We do not have to close above there. 
So all we have to do is trade intra-bar. So we traded intra-bar, and even though we purchased up here, we closed lower, and that's okay. We're still in the trade, and look what happened. See? See, the beauty is we're putting the odds in our favor by using these three simple techniques. First technique, we're above the 50 periods of moving average. Okay? So this tells you you should only be looking to buy. The second technique is we want to find the bars that close in the top quarter of their range. All right? Those are telling us a clue that we're most likely going to go higher. But we have to trade above those on the next bar, which we didn't do here, but we did here. And look at how we have the carry through, okay, the carry the follow through. So these are all extremely important. And the beauty of this is, the beauty of this is, is who are you listening to when you take these signals? You're listening to the market, the most important thing you should be listening to. You're not listening to some guy on TV. You're not listening to someone in a ch trade room or a chat room. You're not looking at indicators. You're not looking at support and resistance. You're not following through the notch. You're just looking at simple things that the market is telling you that most likely we're going to continue up in this direction. So just jump on board. We're not trying to pick tops and bottoms. We're not doing any of these complicated, very uh, difficult things to discern. You know, they're not subjective. It's just cut and dry, really simple. So you see, when my mentors explain these techniques to me, I realized that I was overcomplicating my trading tremendously. And I was thinking, what am I listening to all this other stuff for? And also, I was saving so much more money because I didn't have to pay for all these different services. I could just simply look at a chart, and I had it right there in front of me. So it's extremely simple but extremely powerful. Now, we saw how this would transpose if we were looking to go long. How would we use these same things if we wanted to go short? Well, all we have to do is just simply – turn everything upside down and use the same rules if we're going short, but just reverse them. So the first rule is we want to be in sync with the trend. So obviously, if price were above, we would be an overall uptrend. But now we're looking for price to be below. So if we look at this generic chart, someone would say, well, uh, my, my teachers say there's no trend here. We should stay out of the market entirely because we're just kind of going down and then we go back up. All right, well, that's the way you've looked at trend, and that's why you probably – uh, are not successful with being in sync with the market. What do we do? All we do is we add a 50 period simple moving average. Once we add that, we ask ourselves, where is price in relation to that 50? That's it. And if price is below, this means we are not even going to consider going long. We don't care if someone is screaming on TV or in a chat room telling us to buy because we're oversold or we hit some support. We don't care about those things. We just care about listening to the market. And at this point right now, the market is telling us that we should only be looking to go short. That's it. So there's nothing else we need to listen to. Okay? We are in sync with the market by looking for shorts. Okay, remember, if you have any questions, we'll take them at the very end. I'm not going to answer any questions now because it slows down the presentation. Key number two, now we want to look for a bar that closes in the bottom 25% of its range. Okay? So before we were looking in the top 25%, now we look for something in the bottom. So we see this right here. This is the market telling us that we're most likely going to be headed in that same direction. So we found that bar. Now we want to enter upon confirmation of trend. So remember, what is the confirmation of trend? The confirmation is just that we're going to sell on the next bar only if price trades one to five pips below the bar that closed in the bottom 25% of its range. So this does not mean that if we find a bar that closes in the bottom of its range, we're going to sell at the market. We have to see confirmation that it's confirming that it's going lower than that bar. And it has to happen on the very next bar. If it doesn't, well, then we don't have any type of signal or any type of entry. We're just going to wait and look for the next setup, okay? So we go back to that bar again, and we want to see that we trade right here with the dotted red line. It. But it has to happen on the very next bar. Remember, it does not matter if this is a five-minute bar. That's why I purposely uh, deleted all the, uh, the time frame and deleted the prices because I want you to just see how this concept works. I don't want you to think, well, this was a weekly bar. I don't trade weekly bars, or this was a tick chart. I don't trade tick charts. It does not matter. It happens in any time frame in any direction. So we want to see that we uh, trade, remember, not close, but trade at that dotted red line on the next bar. And as you can see, we did. We traded there intra-bar, so that's where you would sell. You could either place a limit or go at the market or whatever you wanted to do, but you entered once we had confirmation. And remember, 
a lot of people say, well, Steve, it didn't close below there. We are not concerned with the close. We just want to make sure that it traded below their intra-bar, okay? So you would have entered right here, and that's your entry. And I'm sure someone would say, well, boy, I'm losing on the day. I already entered and I've already lost. Well, that's okay. Look what happened in the next two weeks, okay? You see, the market was giving you clues the entire time. Not Once again, not someone on TV or not some indicator or support and resistance level or some Fibonacci uh, number, but the market. It was just telling you, listen, I'm below the 50, so most likely I'm going to be going low. Okay? That's key number one. Second key is here's a, a bar that closed in its bottom 25%. I'm giving you a clue that most likely I'll continue in that direction. And then lastly, I confirmed by going below that bar, okay, one to five pips. So that's really the majority of what you need to go in, into this trade. And then look what happened. It's that simple. You didn't have to waste any money. You didn't have to buy a program. You didn't have to, uh, you know, it was, it was yours in terms of actually knowing how to enter the trade. All right, now I'm going to share with you strategy number four. This is probably one of our most consistent strategies to date. And guess what? The three things I just shared with you make up the majority of the rules of this strategy. So I've just given you the majority of how to trade strategy number four. I know a lot of you are going to say, well, Steve, where do I exit or where do I place my stocks? How do I track a trade? Uh, how many contracts should I use for money management? Can't give away all that information because that's in our course for our course members. But we'll show you later on how you can become a member of the strategy number four course. But let me just show you some of the highlights of this particular strategy. First of all, it does not matter if you've been trading for 30 minutes or 30 years. This is a strategy for virtually every type of trader from beginner to advanced. We have hedge fund traders that trade strategy number four. We have people that have just started to trade the last couple of weeks to trade strategy four. They get the exact same rules in the beginning, okay? So it, it's, it's the same thing. So don't worry at what level you are. If you feel, well, I'm too advanced for this, or, or if you feel, I don't know enough about trading yet. It's the same rules, and we, we walk with you through every, every, uh, every uh, rule and every way in which to trade it. It's originally designed for traders looking to catch quick momentum moves. So we're in and out really quickly. In other words, if you're trading a daily bar, you're usually no longer in the trade for more than three to four days, five days maybe tops, okay? If you're looking at a five-minute bar, you're in the trade for maybe 20, 30 minutes. If you're look, looking at uh, a, you know, a weekly bar, maybe you're in the trade for a month or so. It all depends what time frame you are. But if you want to stay in the trade longer, this is what we offer in the course and with my mentoring. I teach you how to stay in trades much longer so you can squeeze out as much gain as you like. We also, in the course with my mentorship, we teach our students how to have different types of entries, more advanced. Uh, we teach you how to trade conservatively. We teach you how to trade aggressively. So this is all uh, in the course. But what I gave you right now is just three uh, uh, rules that are included in this particular strategy. Now, with intensity level from one to three, let's say the most intense strategy is number one, which means that you cannot even leave your computer. You have to be watching it 24-7. That would be intensity level number one. Intensity level number three would be the most relaxed. Where you wouldn't have to do anything. You just simply enter an order and you can walk away and just wait till, uh, you know, to see if you're filled or not. Well, strategy four is right in the middle. It's very moderate. It's very relaxed. It will get intense depending on what time frame you're trading, but it's very simple to trade. It only uses one indicator. That's all it uses. You know, you don't have this convoluted logic and all these different levels and support and resistance type of ways. Of it. You don't have to worry about that. And guess what? I already shared with you what the indicator is, so you already know. It's the 50 periods of moving average. That's all we're looking for in terms of an indicator. So you already know what the indicator is, and that's it, all right? It's, it works basically in any time frame, any direction, and any market. I'm going to share with you a lot of examples in all the different time frames and uh, different directions. And the beauty of this is once you become a member of our course, let's say you trade the forex, but you say, well, I also trade, you know, stocks. Do I have to buy two separate strategy for courses? No, you can use the same rules for stocks. Let's say you trade the E-mini futures. You can sit and use the same rules for the futures. So this can work in any market. You can basically – one strategy that fits everything, okay? The last thing I want to tell you is that our edge here is consistency. From time to time, strategy four will hit these humongous home runs, which are, you look at and go, this is unbelievable how perfect this was. But we're really just looking for consistency. That's not what it was designed for. 
it's designed for the same thing that my mentors taught me, which is simply two steps forward, one step back. We're not looking to hit home runs with strategy number four, because in our opinion and my philosophy, that's a recipe for a disaster. I know a lot of educators and people will promise you the world with their strategies and systems. We don't do that at specialist trading. What we try to promise is consistency in your trading. Because trust me, over my 37-year uh, career of trading, I have met tons of traders that have hit home runs. I knew traders on the floor of the stock exchange when I worked on the stock exchange who made hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars, in just a short amount of time, days or weeks. They were millionaires. And guess what? Not one of those traders is still trading because they lost it all. They gave it all back. So what does it matter if you make these home runs and then give it all back weeks or months or even years later? What you need is a strategy that will be consistent, that will generate uh, signals that have this consistency of two steps forward, one step back. From time to time, we will have small losers. That's just natural. There's nothing wrong with that. It's like almost like saying someone who uh, you know plays a sport or who uh, you know is uh, you know, athletically inclined that doesn't fall down from skiing every once in a while or doesn't make every basketball shot. It's just normal. You can't do everything 100% correct every time. Even the best of all players, athletic reading performers, do not have the best of nights every night. It's the same way with this strategy. Every once in a while, we will have small losers, but it has tremendous consistency. It has the ability to make it back, and then you're back on top in just a short amount of time. So this is what we teach all of our uh, students, and this is what we uh, transfer on to you, a really high level of consistency with strategy number four. Now, let me show you some examples. These are current examples going back to the last couple of months, even the last couple of days with strategy number four. Here's a chart of the Australian dollar going up to the end of July, which is just two or three weeks ago. As we see here, we ask ourselves, where is price in relation to the 50 period simple moving average? Price is above. So this means we're only looking for buy signals. Now, there are two to three other rules with this strategy, which I did not share with you. And I can't do that because it's not fair to the people that have paid for the strategy. But as we see here, though, of the three elements that I share with you today, they make up the majority of the rules for strategy number four, and look at all the signals that were generated using that. You see, each one of these setup bars was closing at the top quarter of its range, okay? They were above the 50 period of moving average. And you can see here that you would have purchased the next day because they traded above. Now, each one of these signals, going back to mid-June all the way up to a month ago uh, of the uh, mid-July in the Australian dollar, would have generated gains of anywhere from 75 to 100 pips in just a matter of days, no more than five or six days in these trades. So you see how consistent that is. Now, conversely, we look at the dollar yen here, and this was going back to the beginning of July, over a month ago, and this is where we have signals for more advanced traders, and we teach you this in the course. But as you can see here, we're above the 50 period, and we're below the 50, and we're kind of oscillating right back here. This is where beginning students have trouble. And what we teach the advanced course in is that as long as you get a signal that meets all the rules, as long as your entry is below the 50 period simple moving average, you can go short. So in other words, if you are above the 50 period, we close up here, and we are higher above here, but then we close below, this can still be a valid signal to go short, as we had here two months ago on the 18th to go short the dollar yen. This is where people get confused. They say, well, Steve, how can we go short? You said price has to be below. If you want to trade the more aggressive portion of this strategy, all you need to do is enter below the 50 period. A lot of people like to have all of the bars below the 50, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you want to trade more aggressively, all you need to do is have your entry below the 50. And this meets the requirements, so this was our entry on the 18th. And you see here, in just a matter of a week, we made a quick 65 pips. Now, this is the way to trade strategy number four, just in this most basic, generic way, just getting in and out very quickly, not risking a lot, and just basically taking a nice, quick gain to have that consistency. But if you would like to trade it longer, we teach you in the course on how to stay in a trade much longer. There's a chart of the British pound going back to June all the way to mid-July. And we see here that strategy generated an automatic signal right here. And once again, someone would say, how can we go long, Steve? The price, is, price bars are below the 50, 
That's true, but this was a valid signal bar closing the top 25%. It met all the other rules, which I haven't shared with you yet, but uh, your entry is above the 50. So this is a nice aggressive entry and you could have entered into this trade. And once you learned our ways of staying in the trade much longer with the help of a few other tools to help you continue to be in the trade and squeeze as much gain, you could have gained uh, roughly 350 pips in this in the next two to three weeks, staying long in the British pound, simply taking this uh, signal to go long uh, on the 5th of June. And our members in the course, many of our members in the strategy number four course, four course did. Now, if we look at the euro dollar, a lot of people have been saying, boy, the euro dollar is making new lows, it keeps going lower, what's going on, you know, all this fundamental and economical news here, why, why is it going lower? We don't care. As far back as June, where was price in relation to the 50 period triple in the average? It was below the 50. So, the, you know, months ago, the euro dollar was saying, listen, I'm most likely going lower. There's nothing else you need to know. There's no support and resistance. There's no Fibonacci. There's no economic need that you need to really be concerned with because I'm telling you this already. We're most likely going lower. So that's all you need to know. And all you need to know if we're going lower is look for strategy setups to go short. Okay. It could be one of mine or it could be uh, one of yours. It could be anything. So, but all you need to know is that the euro dollar was telling you months in advance we should be going lower, so just jump on board. All right. So, if that's the case, we want to look for strategy number four sell signals. And strategy number four generated a great signal just about a month or two ago on the 1st of July to go short, generated off of this bar right here. You see, we traded on the next bar just below. And if you wanted to stay once again in this trade much longer, not take the quick 50, 75 pips, but really go for the large game, you could have very easily, a lot of our members have, and they still continue to be short the euro dollar, and you could have gained another 340 pips just going short the euro dollar. Since July, you would still be short as a matter of fact until, you know, you get stopped out or until we go back above the 50-period uh, simple moving average and you would look for buy signals. See, it's that simple. You don't have to listen to all these people and what they're, all these gurus and telling you what where you should be looking for buy orders, where it should be bottoming out. If the euro dollar is below the 50, we're only looking to go short. That's it. There's, it's keep things as simple as possible. Don't overcomplicate your trading. Remember, I say this not to be arrogant or condescending. I say this because this is the way I used to trade. I used to trade the exact same way. I would look, if I were trading the euro dollar 30 years ago, all I would be doing down here would be looking for a place to buy. I would think, well, we bought them here. This must be support. And then I'd get stopped out and take a loss. I'd say, well, this must be the bottom here. We bottomed out. And then I'd get stopped out with another loss. I was going against the grain. I was trying to swim upstream. Finally, my mentor said, Steve, just go with the flow instead of trying to bucket. So if you add the 50 period, all you have to see is, is where price is in relation. And then that's all you need to know. There's not all these complicated programs and rooms you need to subscribe to. It's just this. It's that simple. Now, you can go to a smaller time frame. Here's a, a chart of the dollar-yen going back to the 14th and 15th, which is this last uh, Thursday and Friday. Look at all the buy signals that were generated that you could have taken a quick 25 pips off just taking these, real, these quick signals. Very simple. That's a 10-minute chart. Now, if you want to look at a four-hour chart in the British pound, this is going back to the middle of July all the way up until last week, the 13th, just a week ago uh, tomorrow. And look at all the sell signals that were generated using strategy number four to go short. Why? Well, where's price? So a lot of people say, boy, the British pound all of a sudden just fell out of bed. Well, on a four-hour chart, we're below the 50-period simple moving average. So that's all you need to know. See how easy, how easy it is to be in sync with the market using that simple tool, okay? And that's not, not something you have to purchase to get this advanced trending tool. I just gave you that for free. And then lastly, a weekly chart of the British pound. Okay, this was going up until the mid-July area. If we look on a weekly basis, these were all signals generated to go long the British pound, over 1,000 pips going all the way up into July. If you wanted to take this first signal, and many of our members were along the British pound the entire time, writing it up using our advanced methods for staying in the trade longer. Okay? Remember, if you wanted to just take these signals individually, you would have entered here and probably exited within the next three to four bars. Entered here again, probably exited in the next week here, 
entered here again, exited again. It's that simple. You can just gotten in and out very quickly. If you wanted to stay in the trade much longer, you're going to take each and every one of these signals and continue to remain in the trade until you ultimately got stopped out using our advanced uh, stop placement techniques. These, all these examples I share with you, a weekly bar chart I just share with you, daily bars, 10-minute charts, four-hour charts, they all were current signals. They all were generated using three of the elements which I just shared with you today, okay? So let's recap. We're in sync with the trend when we use key number one, probably the most important and powerful tool I can ever share with anyone, and that's the 50-period simple moving average, okay? You want to use the 50. You don't want to use a 200. You don't want to use a 20 or a 10. Why? Because they don't uh, uh, transfer over that well onto different time frames. In other words, the 200 moving average is a great uh, moving average to use for longer term. That's for weekly, maybe monthly bars. But the 200 doesn't transfer over well if you're looking at a five-minute chart or a tick chart or an hourly bar chart. It's just too uh, out of touch. Same way, if you're looking at a five-minute chart, or if you're looking, I should say, at a weekly bar chart, you don't want to look at a 10-minute or a 20-period moving average. It's out of touch with a weekly or a monthly time frame. It's too fast. So you want something that's more in the middle. That's the 50 period, okay? So it's, it, all you want to do is use the concept. Remember, we're, it, this is not advanced science. All you want to do is say, if price is below, then we'll look for sell setups. It could be any strategy. It doesn't have to be one of mine. So in other words, if price is below and you go to some chat room or some trading room and they say, boy, we should be bottoming out here. There's support. This is where you want to buy. Don't do it. That's all you need to use it for. And if your strategy, another strategy you use gives you a sell signal, well, then you know that the odds are in your favor most likely it's going to work out. Trust me, wouldn't you have liked to have seen this with the euro dollar for the last two, three months? All you had to do was say, I don't care what anyone says about the euro dollar hitting support. We're going lower. I'm going to continue to look for short signals as long as we're below the 50. That's all. That's how simple it is. So use the 50. It works better than any other moving average that I've seen in my 37 years of trading, okay? If price is above, you only look for buy signals. It can be any signal. It can be any one of mine or any one of anyone else's. It doesn't matter. We're not trying to say it doesn't work for other people's strategies. Just know that if price is above, only look for buy signals. If price is below, only look for sell signals. You will never try to sell if price is above the 50. I don't care what anyone says. You'll never try to buy if price is below. Okay. Key number two, look for that bar pattern. You want to find a bar that closes in the top 25% if we're above the 50, why? Because this is a clue that the market, once again, not an outside source, not some chat room, but the market is telling you that most likely we're going to continue in that direction for the next three to five bars. What a great tool. What a great edge to have to know that most likely you're going to continue in that same direction. If price closes in the bottom 25% and you are below the 50, most likely the market is going to be going lower in the next three to five bars. What a great edge. Once again, only coming from the most important thing you should be listening to, the market itself, okay? And then lastly, that entry technique. It's a confirmation method, meaning that you want to see that price confirms that it's going in that direction because it doesn't always happen. Remember, I said at the very beginning, we're looking for consistency. This doesn't work 100% of the time. So you want to confirm that you're going in that direction on the next bar. So you have to trade one to five pips above a bar that closes in the top 25% in order to enter, or you want to close one to five, and I'm sorry, not close, trade one to five pips below a bar that closes in the bottom 25%. It's that simple. You put these three things together, you can construct your own strategy or you can apply these to any strategy that you currently have, and you really elevate your odds for success. You really extremely elevate your So in other words, let's say you, you trade off the news, which is the way I used to say it. Okay, let's say some news comes out and it's, uh, uh, you think it's very bullish. Okay, so rather than just jump in and buy at the market and some trading room is telling you, yeah, you got to buy, this is great. First thing you do, you plot the 50 periods of moving average. And you ask yourself, where is price once you got this buy signal according to your news strategy? Where is it? If it's below the 50, don't take it. It may work out, but the odds are over time it's not going to. So why even go there, you know? just like the slot machines in Vegas. Every once in a while, you'll get a winner, which will give you the false sense of security of thinking that, hey, this is working. But if you look over time, 99.9% .9 of people that play the slot machines lose money. It's the same way with trading. 
the majority of people will lose money if you're out of sync with the market, with the trend. So let's say you get that signal with your fundamental news and price is above. That's great. Okay, you're in sync, so it's okay to take that signal, but you still have to wait a little bit. At the end of the day, did the bar close in the top 25% of its range? If it didn't, if it closed north towards the bottom, well, it's good you didn't get into the trade because most likely the market's telling you it doesn't want to continue in that direction. So then you won't take it. But let's just say at the end of the day, it did close in the top 25% of its range. Well, you're still not going to buy. You're going to wait for it to trade one to five pips above the next day in order for you to enter. If you use these three things, you will have much higher chances for success and consistency than using other techniques. I, I, you know, I really feel strongly about that because I use this in all of my trading. The beauty of this is, let's say you like to trade in, let's say you like to trade stocks, you can apply this over into those markets as well. It doesn't just fit and say, well, this only works for the Forex market. It works for everything. We use these uh, three key elements in virtually almost all of our strategies. We use at least two of them in each and every strategy. Some strategies, we use all three, but we always incorporate some of these in every strategy. That's how valuable they are, and that's how much we believe in them. So we share with you all of these three things most, what most of our students and members in the past have already had to pay for in order to get this information. We share with you for free, and then we show you how they made up one of our most consistent strategies to date, strategy number four. I just shared with you all those signals. And in fact, if you look at the Swiss franc today, uh, it's been going up. That was generated off of a strategy number four signal. As well, I believe the, the Japanese yen, the dollar yen is going up today as well. That was also a buy signal generated using strategy four. Those are two signals that were generated. And if you want to see how they're doing on a daily bar today, all of our members who took that signal should be long and should have a nice quick gain in those uh, two uh, currency pairs. Now, I want to, before we close today, I want to invite each and every one of you to become members of Specialist Trading by purchasing a special, special low discount price in strategy number four, which we just shared with you today. You get instant course access, detailed instruction. I tell you all of our entries, exits, and stops. I just shared with you three of the rules, but you also have to know how to exit, where to enter uh, on different advanced placement, where to place your stops and exits and, and everything for conservative to advanced trading, as well as signal alerts. For daily bars, we've furnished all of our Forex members with signal alerts the way our members were alerted last night to go along the Swiss franc and the dollar yen. Best thing about this is that you get the free add-on. In other words, you have free buy and sell L generated whenever a signal uh, is generated by strategy number four. And then lastly, uh, you have access to my personal email where you can contact me anytime you'd like. This trading course usually runs for $695, which is a fantastic uh, deal in itself. But for all the attendees today, we're slashing it down to 495. Okay, this is for a limited time only. And I think just from the uh, examples I showed you from this past month, and from the examples today, which I shared with you for being long the Swiss franc and the dollar yen, uh, you would have paid for this strategy probably five times over already today, just taking those signals. Okay, even though it's not guaranteed, it just shows you how consistent this is. So, as we go to the question and answer portion, if you have any questions, remember you can go to that microsite that the uh, uh, FX Street has built for us to get any more information. You can also go to our sister site, which is ProTraderStrategies.com. They market and promote all of my individual strategies. You can talk and converse and, and, and get the discount with any one of their trading consultants by emailing them at trading at ProTraderStrategies.com or simply calling them directly at area code 310. 598-6677. That's how you get that great discount. That's how you can come on board and become a member and get all of the rules to strategy number four. Now, I want to just take a, a few moments here to answer any questions. I want to thank you all for waiting. I know some of you had a lot of questions. I just want to make sure that I, I try to answer them the best. And just let me backtrack here and see um, what people are asking. Some people said they couldn't hear. I think that was just more of a technical issue. Um, Let's see. Uh, okay, Chris asks, what's the difference between the 50, the 100, and the 200? I think I went over that, Chris. This probably uh, was answered uh, or asked uh, earlier in the presentation. Just remember that the 50, in my experience, is not magical. It doesn't hold any mystical meaning or anything. It's just that it transfers over. It's the best time frame I've seen. It transfers over the best into all, uh, all of the markets, all the directions, and all the time frames. 
100 and 200 can be too far out of a period to look at a, a 10 minute chart, whereas a 20 uh, period moving average is too small of a time period to be looking at a weekly bar chart. So the 50 works well in just about everything, okay? But the main thing is not so much the number that we're looking at, it's just that concept I want you to get instilled in your head that if price is below, you will not ever try to buy anything. And conversely, if price is above, you will not ever, ever try to sell anything, okay? Now, I know a lot of you will say, boy, Steve, well, I had a sell signal, but I didn't take it because you said don't sell anything above the 50, and it worked great. I just missed a great trade. As I stated earlier, you will see that from time to time. Just the same way you see when you trade the slot machines from time to time, you will get small winners, and you'll think, boy, this is great. But over time, remember, it's about consistency. We want you to be trading a long time, just not for a couple of weeks or a month, I want you to be trading 20, 30 years down the road. And over time, those things will be a recipe for disaster. You'll eventually wind up giving all that money back just the same way you would with a slot machine and the same way I used to trade with all my floor traders on the floor that gave everything back that made hundreds of thousands of dollars. So there's no consistency in that. That's what we're trying to teach everyone. Um, Will it be uploaded on YouTube? Uh, I'm not sure. You'd have to ask the people at FX Street if they're going to be uploading this. Uh, I, I think they do record these, but I'm not sure where they will be placing it, okay? Um, Chris was also asking how much does it cost. Well, there, Chris, it's, it's usually $6.95, which I believe is actually discounted down to $9.95. But for all the FX Street attendees, we're discounting even more down to $4.95. You get a really great deal with that. And, and also, once again, this is not something that, uh, you know, we, we give you the information and then just kind of throw you to the wolves and say, good luck. Uh, once again, you get my personal email uh, address, and you have access to me 24-7. Whenever you'd like to ask me an email, I get back to you as soon as possible. In fact, before we started this presentation today, I was answering some, some uh, members' emails or questions they had. So I'm always in touch with you. And I'm always there holding your hand to make sure you understand the strategies. And once you become a member for $495, you're a member for life. This is not something you get subscribed to every six months. And this is not something where the strategy automatically dissolves after a certain period of time. You're, it's, the, it's your information for life. You can't unlearn what we give you, okay? Um, let's see. Hassan asked, I did not get anything. Why should we sell to see the look? I'm not sure what you're asking, Hassan. I'm, I think if you could ask that again I'm, uh, a little bit differently, I'm not sure. Uh, if you were talking about our euro dollar, the only reason we're looking to sell was because price was below the 50 period since the moving average. Uh, Hamashu asked, do you look at resistance zone in strategy number four? No. Once again, these are things that, in my opinion, just serve to overcomplicate your trade, okay? Resist, see, because one person's resistance zone is another trader's uh, support zone. It's too subjective. I know there may be uh, a lot of uh, traders that do very well trading these zones, support resistance, and Fibonacci, but the majority of them do not make any money because it's too subjective. It's too it's hard to discern. At specialist trading, we want things that are cut and dry where two people looking at the same chart will come up with the exact same answer. In other words, with zones and levels and things of that nature and even news, everyone has a different interpretation. Someone could say, well, that's good news, or that's a buy zone. And someone will say, looking at the exact same chart, no, my calculations say that's a sell zone, or that's bad news. So we never have that type of answer at special Stadium. It's always, well, where's price? Price is above, so it's a, we're looking for buys. That's it. No one will say, well, price is above, we're looking to sell. You, there's, there's, there's no room for uh, discretion there. It's, that's cut and dry. It's the same thing with, well, did we close in the bottom of the top 25% of its range? Everyone's going to come up with the same answer, either yes or no. There's no room for interpretation. See, that's where it becomes complicated when you have to have some type of interpretation or some type of uh, discretion, and then you all of a sudden – uh, you know, start to second guess yourself because you're not sure you're doing it correctly. We want things cut and dry and simple, as simple as possible. Once again, I'm not trying to put anything down or say it doesn't work. I, I, I know there are a lot of good traders that make money this way, but there are very few. They have like an inner way of seeing these things. I personally, when I try to trade support and resistance or zones or Fibonacci, I couldn't make any money. I've been trading for, you know, I've been trading for 30 years. I couldn't do it. 
The reason is, is because it's too subjective. Things which are more simple, more cut and dry, are easier to get in that road to consistency. So why overcomplicate your trading? I say this from someone who was there, not from trying to look down at, you, at people or students. I was there. I couldn't make a dime using these things. So why, why do that to yourself? Why, and, and, and also, why spend that money? Why spend all that good time and money to learn these things when over time there's really no consistency? Okay? Uh, yes, someone asked, can we, uh, our Twitter handle is at S-P-C-L-S-T-T-R-A-D-G, okay, at S-P-C-L-S-T-T-R-A-D-G, okay, it's just abbreviation for specialist trading, okay, uh, if you're interested in our win-loss ratio, this can only be done off of daily bars, and you can call up and ask one of our uh, representatives for those numbers. Because, you know, we have traders that trade these so many different ways. We have traders, hundreds of traders that only trade this on five-minute charts. We have other traders that only trade on a weekly chart. So we can't, we're not a systematic company that, uh, you know, can keep track of records of every time frame and every currency pair and everything, and as well as every stock and every Forex uh, and every mini. It's just too complicated. That's not what we do. We're more of an educational company. We're not a systematic company. We don't keep records like that. But we do show you how well uh, strategy number four has performed on six main currency pairs going back around three or four years. These were all signals that were actually generated. And you can contact uh, trading at Pro Trader Strategies and they can tell you what the one loss ratio is about. Okay? Uh, lastly, before we close off, does this signal software work on MT4 platform? Yes, it does. It works on uh, the, the four major platforms, which are MT4, Metastock, Ninja Trader, and uh, TradeStation. So if you have any of those platforms, you can use this and you will get the automatic buy and sell arrows and you will uh, be able to use them at any time frame and you'll get the signals generated, okay? In conclusion, I want to once again hope that you, you use these three uh, key elements in your trading. Remember, we are an educational company. I hope the education I just transferred and, and gave to you for free will in some way elevate your trading. But if you want to take it to the next level, if you really want to get that consistency, you have to know all of the rules to strategy number four. You have to know how to trade it aggressively. You have to know how to trade it conservatively. If you want to stay in the trade much longer, the way we showed you with the euro dollar, how you can continue to be short, how many of our members are still short the euro dollar going back from the beginning of July, uh, you have to take the course. And this is what we offer for $4.95. It's a very, very inexpensive price for all the great information I've accumulated. So take advantage of that special deal. Contact any of the representatives by emailing them at trading at protraderstrategies.com or simply call us directly, 310-598-6677. I want to thank you so much for attending today. I, I want to thank all the people at FXP for giving me the opportunity to speak. Once again, for more information, you can go to the uh, microsite here that's provided the link on the bottom that Epic Street has provided for us, and you can get a lot of information there as well. I want to thanks once again, thank you once again for attending, and I look forward to all of you becoming members of mine and students of mine at Specialist Trading. Thank you so much. We shall see you next time. Bye bye.